Hey everyone, it's Rihanna and welcome back to another video. The world is going through a very tough time at the moment. We're all self-isolating or quarantined, social distancing, etc, etc. And while you were stuck at home with the joys of streaming services, I thought I'd give you some recommendations. You know me, I could talk for days and days about films and TV shows I love and I love giving recommendations. So this was the perfect opportunity. I've seen lots of these videos spiraling around YouTube and some of them have been great. They've given me some great options for movies and TV shows to watch. So hopefully this video will give you some inspiration. Although side note, these recommendations I know for a fact are on UK Netflix and UK Prime Video. I can't guarantee they're on the American Netflix and Prime Video because they're different. So apologies to anybody outside of the UK who wants some recommendations. They might be on your streaming services, I don't know. And if you can get hold of them otherwise, except illegally downloading them, then you should. So here are some TV shows and movies to keep you entertained and keep you lighthearted during self-isolation. It sucks, I know. I'm on only day two and I'm losing my mind. So my first recommendation is Booksmart and this is on Prime Video. Absolutely love this film. It is hilarious and just a throwback to some of the great teenage movies of the 80s. It tells the story of two best friends Molly and Amy who are graduating high school soon and they're going to go their separate ways and they have played by the rules for far too long. So they decide the night before graduation they are going to go crazy and do all the partying they missed out on and just book smart is clever, it has hilarious writing, the acting is great, the chemistry is great between the two female leads and just Booksmart is all around. Great high school comedy film and it's even a little bit emotional. I think all of these picks have like a little bit of an emotional scene in there. I really apologise if I make you cry when I'm trying to make you laugh. But yes, Booksmart, if you love old high school movies and you love comedies, definitely watch this one. It's going to take your mind off all of the crazy shit that is happening right now. My next pick is from Netflix and that is Fighting With My Family, which is a family comedy drama based off real life underdog story is the best I can sum it up as. This was also one of my favourites from last year just because it is so well done. It is based off the true story of Paige who is a WWE fighter and her origins, her and her family are all wrestlers and she gets picked out to go to this program in Florida I believe and then possibly go on to fight in WWE. Now this film stars Florence Pugh as Soraya or Paige as she is now professionally known and she just does such a great job with this character. You want to root for her, you want her to succeed and we just all love a great underdog story. Yes this film is funny, yes it does get you a little bit emotional here and there but trust me when I say after it you're gonna feel inspired. It's just really uplifting to watch. Now onto TV shows, on Prime Video in the UK you can sink your teeth into all seven seasons of the glorious Parks and Recreation. Parks and Rec is one of my favourite sitcoms of all time. I feel like compared to like Friends and The Office it is quite underrated. The story follows Leslie Nope, who is played by Amy Poehler who works in public services in the Parks and Recreation department in a small town in Indiana called Pawnee and it just follows her and her team as she tries to make Pawnee a better place and oh this show is just so fun and funny and the characters are great you fall in love with them. I just recently finished re-watching this show and I was so sad when it ended. Oh I love these characters so much and Parks and Recreation deserves so much more love so seven seasons it's the perfect thing to binge watch basically. It's 20 minutes, so quick, and it does such a great job with its characters and writing in that short period of time. So give more love to Parks and Rec. I should have like a megaphone. Give more love to Parks and Rec. Over to Netflix, a Netflix original show that recently just came out, which I binged in a very short period of time, is I'm Not Okay With This. There is only about eight or nine episodes, each are 20 minutes long, and this show is great. The show stars Sophia Lillis who plays 17 year old Sid who is dealing with high school and who she is and family problems and puberty and her sexuality and then she starts to gain superpowers out of nowhere. So 
she's got a lot on her plate. I love the way the show is structured, I love the writing, it's so easy and quick to watch but you get very invested very quickly. I know the whole sort of teenager getting superpowers thing has been done a lot but trust me when I say this show does it so so well. I get sort of a end of the fucking world vibe because I think one of the writers or directors or producers worked on that show so if you like that show you're definitely gonna like I'm Not Okay With This. It has Sophia Lillis and Wyatt Olef who are both in the recent It remakes and they work really well together. It's got a bit of like John Hughes in there, a bit of Stephen King. Ah, oh, it's such a great mixture of things. And yeah, as I say, super quick to watch. Don't watch it too quick though. Like you wanna make it last. It's new, you probably haven't watched it yet. You probably haven't heard of it yet. So watch it basically. Back over to Prime with the films, we have Lucky Number Slevin, which I've always said is an underrated action comedy gem. The film follows the character of Slevin, who's played by Josh Hartnett, who has a case of mistaken identity, which lands him in a war between the two rivaling crime bosses of the city. That's all I'm gonna tell you because this film surprised me and it's gonna surprise you. It has action, it has comedy, it has great writing. I just absolutely love it. It's an underrated gem and if you haven't seen it before definitely give it a watch if you're into the whole action comedy thing but also you kind of want your mind blown a little bit. Next up on Netflix is the recent film Long Shot. This stars Shalise Theron and Seth Rogen. Mm -hmm. Seth Rogen plays a journalist who reignites his friendship with his childhood crush Charlotte who is now running for presidency and Charlotte hires Fred to be her kind of speechwriter and sparks start to fly between them. Now we all know Seth Rogen is a funny guy and Shalise Theron has done comedy in the past but man she slays this role so much. This film is light-hearted, good, humoured comedy. I feel like Longshot kind of flew under the radar a little bit last year and not a lot of comedies today can actually be funny but Longshot is so if you haven't checked it out check it out. I really enjoyed it and just by talking about it I want to rewatch it. A prime original TV show that I absolutely love and cannot wait for the second season of is The Boys. Now if you're into superheroes The Boys is your show. The Boys takes place in a universe where superheroes are recognised by the general public and are owned by a huge corporation named Vought International and the big superheroes of the world are known as The Seven. But the story mainly follows Huey whose girlfriend is recently killed by one of The Seven and he goes to investigate further into them and ends up joining a group of vigilantes who fight against The Seven. The Boys is graphic violent, original, hilarious. Like what more could you want? It also has Judge Dredd himself in it, Carl Urban, superhero royalty. And if you want to get sucked into a universe that isn't Marvel or DC or X-Men, watch The Boys. Trust me, it's such a great take on superheroes and it is hilarious in all of the most bizarre ways. Back over to Netflix, a show that needs no introduction, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Now no matter how many times you watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I would know because I've seen it many times, it never gets old. I think we have up to season five or six in the UK and it's really good to binge. All of these characters are so lovable and they actually start to get really creative with their storylines in the later seasons so Brooklyn Nine-Nine is a great watch especially if you want a longer series to watch not a shorter one. I could rave about Brooklyn Nine-Nine all day and you've probably seen it like three times through but why not a fourth? Treat yourself. Back over to Prime Video to a film that doesn't sound funny but is and that is The Big Sick. Now The Big Sick is definitely a drama comedy, it gets very serious at times but when it is funny it is super funny. In my opinion The Big Sick is an underrated romantic comedy based off of a true story. The story follows Camille who is a struggling comedian. His parents don't want him to be a comedian, they're very religious, they want him to marry a nice Pakistani girl as he's a Pakistani living in America. But Camille ends up meeting Emily and they fall in love. Camille is quite resistant to introduce Emily to his parents and Emily actually ends up becoming quite ill. There's tensions in the relationships but Emily becoming ill really makes Camille realise what's important and he works on himself and telling his parents and opening up to them and it's a very very touching story but it is also very funny. They do such a great job with the writing here and the characters and the acting. I 
love every minute of this film. It is going to make you cry probably, but I highly recommend you watch it. How could I not mention this? It's on Netflix UK, of course I'm going to put it on this list, and that is the classic Scott Pilgrim vs The World. Scott Pilgrim vs The World follows Scott Pilgrim as he has to defeat the seven evil exes of the girl he is falling for called Ramona Flowers. If you're a gamer, you've probably seen this film already, but if you haven't, if you're a gamer and you love pop culture references and you love the sort of comic book style films, Scott Pilgrim vs The World is for you. This film is directed by Edgar Wright, one of my favourite comedy directors of all time. The comedy is subtle and effective and it's got such an all-star cast here. We have Michael Sarah as Scott Pilgrim, obviously he is hilarious. We have a great ensemble cast who can pull off comedy very, very well, especially frickin' Chris Evans. <sighs> this was the first time I saw him in a comedy role and I loved it. I will never get sick of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I've seen it so many times and I could watch it so many times again. If you're looking for more of an easy escape this world watch, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is definitely for you. Okay, now we are down to my last two television picks. On Prime Video, we have the marvellous Mrs. Maisel. I love this show so much. Admittedly, I haven't finished season three yet, but with all this free time, that is about to change. The marvellous Mrs. Maisel follows Midge Maisel, who is a housewife living in the 1950s of New York. One day, she has a realisation that she wants to go into stand-up comedy. She leaves her husband and goes into the world of stand-up, and it turns out she's really freaking hilarious. All of you Gilmore Girls lovers, rejoice the same people who did Gilmore Girls do The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Amy Sherman Palladino I believe writes and produces and possibly directs a lot of the episodes of Marvelous Mrs. Maisel so if you're into that quick-witted dialogue then oh my god you're gonna be in love. Rachel Brosenhan who plays Midge Maisel is absolutely fantastic. We also have Alex Broadstein who plays Susie Myerson who is her manager in the show. They have such a spark in their chemistry. I absolutely love this show. I love all of the different characters and all of the different places the show goes. It is hilarious, quick-witted and I just love getting lost in Midge's world. It's won Golden Globes and Emmys people, take my word for it. A bit like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, this show needs no introduction on Netflix. It is The Good Place. I've been raving about The Good Place since day one. The Good Place is just the most wholesome TV show out there at the moment. I'm so sad it ended, but it just means you can watch it start to finish and you don't have to wait for another episode. I mean, you've probably heard about The Good Place so many times by now, because I think I've talked about it on this channel, like, a lot. The Good Place follows Eleanor Shellstrop, who is a person who has just arrived in The Good Place, aka sort of heaven, basically, and she's a bit confused because she thinks she doesn't belong there. Eleanor didn't have the best life on Earth, she wasn't the best person, and now she's sort of playing a fraud in The Good Place, so she has to sort of navigate her way through this place without getting caught. And The Good Place goes in so many different directions every single season. It is super funny. I love the ensemble cast of characters and just, as I say, pure wholesome comedy television. The Good Place is another one where I talk about it and I immediately want to go rewatch it because it is that good. I feel like I don't have to talk about The Good Place much more because you already know it's pretty brilliant and just takes you out of this world and puts you in that world which at the moment is a better, funner place. I feel like a lot of my picks are probably gonna make you cry at some point as well as laugh but that is what makes a great comedy film. It gets you in the feels and it makes you hysterically laugh until you cry, like happy tears. And those are my film and TV recommendations for when you are in self-isolation. If you guys have any films you want to recommend or TV shows you want to recommend that just make you happy, please leave them down below in the comments. Spread the love, spread the TV and movie recommendations. Anyway, I will be back with another video very, very soon. Obviously, I've got a lot of free time on my hands, so videos will keep coming. In the meantime, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. All my social media links are down below in the description if you want to come follow me, my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Letterboxd. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. Stay safe. Be happy. Bye.